This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. My name is Elsie Godwin and here with the able anchor, Sife Oshunke and Ife Omai. Hey guys. What's up? How you doing? I'm great. Hello. Mr. Pink and Pinkish. <laughs> <laughs> the pinky and the brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. You are the brain. He's oh, the pinky. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it works yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. But if you actually watch Pinky and the Brain, you know that Pinky is the smartest one. No. Huh? Pinky is the Oh, then you don't know. No, you don't know anything about Pinky is he's not so dumb, but <laughs> he's is extremely smart. sluggish. Pinky is a smart mm. one. Brain just executes whatever Pinky says. But Having Pinky ideas and not being one. able to execute it, it makes you dumb. Mm. Ah. I'm just saying. I mean, let's talk about <laughs> Peruzzi. <laughs> I heard he just apologized, or he has apologized to... Um, Pamilleri, David hmm. has also said something. I mean, this morning we said it would be nice if he responds because, I mean, this is his crew. And if um, he fed last time was saying that he should interfere when it comes to Zlatan, then I think this he time around he yeah. should interfere when it yeah. comes to um, Peruzzi. And he has, even though his own apology is coming with a bot. And um, I was following this story. I mean, you know, we all know why I would want to follow it hmm. anyway. And... Um, before Peruzzi apologized. And the Digital Marketing Association. Yeah, before Peruzzi apologized, you know? he, was in, he was a calling guest on the radio show this morning where he was sharing his own side sorry, of the story. Sorry, can we just look at that? Someone else is somewhere feeling hurt because you don't see that very thin line between opinion and insults. Continue, I'll come back to that. Go on. Oh, sorry, okay. Sorry so, and then you made me just continue. Lose your train Go of ahead, thought. No, I'm so sorry. I just wanted us to see that for a minute. People, People come in here to say things. Well, just, go ahead. But you never get to really understand. The thin line between opinion. I think this guy is doing so much to excuse himself, to excuse the actions he mm -hmm. exhibited, and it's totally wrong. I mean, no matter how hot you think you were, it's not like we've not seen what he <laughs> tweeted. A grown man. I had to go and look for those tweets this morning to Since say, January. okay, I know. There are no, fans really that go way extra. You're like, okay, this is rude. You shouldn't have gone this way, right? Mm. But we have seen the tweet. What did he say? The only thing everybody's holding on to is shut up. <laughs> like, really. <laughs> and that's why you waited for someone from January till June. To <laughs> <laughs> See, six, let's not try to analyze it because months. there's an apology going on already. But, and, what's David but the annoying that? part is that he doesn't still understand the gravity of what he did. Mm. Because in that um, calling guest that Are you he speaking was, for the digital I'm not speaking for anybody. I'm speaking as Elsie so, Godwin, who mm. usually gives her Preach opinion girl. on everything <gasps> on the show. Mm. So... <laughs> Okay. Okay, I think I should allow you guys to speak. <laughs> no, 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 go on. Go ahead. Okay, in, um, um, what's her name? Cardi B's voice. Ah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no, you guys didn't get it. <laughs> okay, do it now. I can't do it oh, now. Okay. I wish I could. You, you know, you wanted to say something. You were, you were saying he doesn't understand the grammar. No, he doesn't. In because in that thing. interview, he was saying that, oh, I slapped him, but that was not assault. Ah. He said that? Yes, he in did. An interview? Yes. What interview? Live. The, the, wow. the on a radio station with oh, okay. And even Dotto's friends were like, okay, nah. <laughs> he just said that, right? And he lost what he wanted to say at that point. But he doesn't understand what he did. It's absolutely wrong. And this is why, if somebody like Peruzzi is in a working system, you probably see him going in and out of jail a couple of times mm. before he understands how human mm. beings are supposed to act as human beings. Mm. But I think that's where I'm going to shut my mouth and let. If uh, oh my. see what he has to say. <laughs> if I should, okay, yeah. Oh my, let's mm -mm. go with Oh my first. Okay, go ahead. Um, I mean, I already put given my two cents to this matter on the morning show. I think it's just barbaric. I think it's very, very tacky, very low. I don't even want to be surrounded by people like that, anyways. Mm. The only difference between us and animals is control. Mm. If you cannot control your emotions, mm. your attitude, the same thing with the whole dog thing. Mm -hmm. You call the bull the dog, you shot the like all those behaviors is unacceptable to me entirely. I'm not even safe. I don't even feel like anyone is safe around that kind of person because you mm. never know what trigger. Mm -hmm. And this whole thing, everyone had an opinion. It's an award. That is the nature of the award. Someone is going to win, someone it's is going, going to, to lose. lose. Mm. You can have two winners. Everyone had something to say. And I keep hearing Nigerians all over saying again and again that, you know, Desert that's how it. we do it here. Yeah. You must chop slap. <laughs> it is backward. Mm. It is K 
cave money, it is bab it is it is tacky. Oh, before you fed drops the bomb he wants to drop, let me mention that in that interview he was trying to explain what happened and he said he they were all lodging in the same hotel and then he asked his boys to go and bring Pamilari to him. So when Pamilari came to him, he was trying to let him know that guy, we get beef before. Why did why did you do this and blah blah? And then Pamilari was laughing. So it was the laughter that made him slap. Yeah. I mean, how else would you so want if someone I, to But his name is why won't he laugh? He's <laughs> 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 um, so, Okay, so basically, like I said um, on the morning show, that I'm not in support of Perizzi or anything that he did. And I like how you, I couldn't have said it better. What differentiates us from animal is the control. Mm. And I think he accepted that. He said he let his emotions get the best of him. So, um, in as much as it's trying to justify anything, or we all know that Perizzi, you are wrong. And mm. if he wasn't wrong, he wouldn't even be apologizing. Whether he's apologizing mm. halfway or because he's giving us yeah. all the evidence we need. Yeah. You know, this morning the was saying there's no evidence, and yeah. guy went on yeah. a live show to say, to say yes, he I slapped. So, and, and I'm even scared that he's really going to be, unless Pamilarin decides not to, to pursue yes, yeah. any um, legal action. Which I feel like you'd be pressured him. to do so. Like I mean, um, this they video has apologized and all. Oh, so no, I think we hope he's not pressured to Me too, it. I hope so. So you guys really want him to um, press injured. charges? Yes. Do you want him to press charges? Don't joke. You don't joke? Oh, mm. okay. You know what this is going to do? When you go, no. when you do something like this and you I go scot-free, yeah, so many people dangerous. would think no, they can the just wake up and see people and slap them because they have out. a different a opinion. So you mean I can keep slapping you every day and then apologizing? Right? Now, this is the kind of thing that Perizzi may be made to sign an undertaking or there should be a clause to it. But pressing charges, I think, would just be... And we still need to press the charge before you start writing does not mean that you're going to jail. Mm -hmm. But there yeah. should be some kind of legal Sanction. compensation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, for, no, I don't... Uh, compensation. Yes, yes, legal compensation for Camilleri. If compensation, he will get it. And I want... It's, me, I want a legal... No, it doesn't have in, to be his handover money on 500 Do you understand? No, like, and I don't think Camilleri needs their change. Don't... Sorry. Don't slap me. Okay, I think we need to move to the other stories. Well, but basically, what I'm... What what I was trying to say was when I um, broke your cha cha um, train, train of thought of was that there's a thin line between opinion and insult. Mm. Do not try to bring another man's hustle down all I in keep the hearing people say that. Oh, How does I'm not finish. Can we have that tweet I'm again? Not or, like, ah, this like, tweet I'm not was my Can you just let me finish? There was a conversation <laughs> on the not let me finish and I'm not going it's to not like, It's not like Pamela woke up and just tweeted and said, ah. Uh, Which up. hustle? Like, there was what are something you going about? on. There was a conversation already it's going. A conversation that Peruzzi started. I totally do understand. Can you guys the just man let hustle? Let me let me let me let please. Please. Uh, please. Can somebody tell mm. Peruzzi to shut up? Uncle, release a single without featuring anyone first. Let's see how far you can go with that. That's first Has of all. Wait, hold on. That's first of all. Even the beating featured the bouncer. Apology featured the video. So I don't understand. Without featuring people. And he went far. Wait, well, I'm telling you that if you read between the lines, you can tell the insultive tone. Hmm. And an insult de de as in deserves okay. a slap and assault. We, we are not the against the Peruzzi on this table. We are just against You're his totally actions. You're totally missing the point. And um, I think he has um, awesome music that we've also listened and to. And then what I think to, we right? need to also pay attention to is that, look, the celebrities, they're human. Hmm. Regardless of how you want to look at it, they have... Emotions. Lord, they have emotions. Emotions. Oh, no, I did not know that. And all, all the Twitter, all the people. And then when you try to bring down their also, I, bring down their hustle. Okay. okay. Sorry. Okay. So okay. Has the the to bring down oh, he's okay. that powerful. Also, the main stories for this episode: when the Williams and strange husband is no closer to reconciling with their son. The interesting part of this story is that. Kevin feels Wendy isn't helping the situation. Sources, I mean, they're always sources, say he's <laughs> getting iced out despite several attempts to reach out and talk to his son. Mm. Mm. I think I should come to Ife on my own this one. Um, he just, yeah, I've already, I, this is another thing where I've talked about before. He just sounds like a flimsy dad. Um, I don't think Wendy needs to do anything to um, help your situation. If this guy, if this kid was, if this man was a kid, mm. I'll be a bit. Um, slightly more sensitive with my words and maybe more on Kevin's side because you can manipulate someone. Mm. But 
It's a grown man. Speaking from experience, especially for the fact that my parents are not together, there is nothing either of the either of the parent figure wants to do to the other that wants to tarnish their image. I think they do that for themselves. I think this is making me question the relationship he had with the son before to begin now. With, yes. You because if you had like a smooth relationship mm -hmm. with your son, I don't think he would just wake up suddenly and just switch. I mean, there, I don't know. No, the moment you could have a smooth relationship with, without him knowing that you are a complete oh, loser. Yes, yeah. And now that he's beginning to realize that he's oh. that I think I think loser. that with, 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 with um, kids that are dealing with parents that are separated and all that, they see the pain. And mm. you can differentiate, best with, I'm, I'm telling you guys, you, you can, can differentiate who, who is what and whatever. Who. And sometimes the love is bad, but the mm. cup, the, both parents are still good. Or you maybe actually Wendy still love had always been covering up and right now she's yeah. just done. Yeah, you can love, you can have a relationship with your dad, have a relationship with your mom, and you, the parents are not together. Mm -hmm. The fact that he doesn't want a relationship with his with his father is not even just a reflection of the of the failed marriage, but of his character. Okay, let's say what Ife Oshukai has to say. Well, I think... Um, it's like you said, it's a reflection of his um, failed parenting mm -hmm. ability to start with. Because um, if uh, my son can be so mad at me to punch me, mm. then mm. that means I must. Mm. That, that means I must be a very, 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 very like he, mm. he doesn't have any regard yeah. for me. Yeah. There has to be some form of respect yeah. and some form of disrespect with And I think he, he went mm. physical first because he had he had, he had him, he put him yeah, in a headlock and all that. So um, I'm just saying before you, before a father can even mm. stoop so low to put his son in a headlock yeah. because we're trying Talking to have conversation. a conversation. They were having the conversation. You know that that just shows your bad parenting mm. skills. Yeah. Not to now talk of the part that you're also a loser yeah. when it comes to your yeah, wife yeah. and you're, you're a cheat Publicly. you're spending you're mm. broke you're spending your wife's <laughs> well, money you're a gold um, digger ah, <laughs> if I need to, i'm just saying be angry so much. <laughs> i hope that he um he settles this relationship because you know, no matter what happens he's yeah. still the father yeah. and he's still his mm. son so yeah but he's not a child man. no he's yeah. not he and even that father's that one thing you can be a, you can be a father from afar like if you're going if you're going to add anything positive to the kid's life Distance is good. Support. I think this I pink mouth. is making you to radiate, radiate hotness. I don't understand. <laughs> mind. Um, Kevin, sorry, you. it's time for a break. <laughs> but when we return, we'll bring you your next story, which is on See Me. We'll be right back. You're watching Plus TV Africa, and this is Tea Time. I loved the energy when I came in here. It was okay. so positive. I was like, I can't, I can live here. My real names are Akbobiokobo, Akbobomemere. I think my father is a comedian because most times when he calls me, he's like, yo, make sure you use condom, you know, them girls out there. Uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so are you telling me I should have shot my shots? If you have a younger brother, <laughs> age is so nothing but a number. Beautiful. What? I'm a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in equal rights for okay. women. Mm -hmm. And I also believe that a man is the head of the house. So okay. we need to draw our limits somewhere. It feels so good. I can I do my jam now? Yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time, and it's time for our next story. Simi speaks on depression plaguing young men. Mm -hmm. This conversation happened when a fan on Twitter asked her what her thoughts were on the wave of depression in the recent times, and she responded by saying, quote, It's scary and sad, especially for young men. The struggle to keep up, the fear of failure, the desperate desire for validation, very scary. I hope that we can let people know it's okay to share and lean on someone when things get too heavy. Mm. Lean on me. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> lean on me now, no. come on. <laughs> we are coming to you. Let's lean on you. What do you have to say? You are the man. I mean, are you under well, the pressure? Well, um, I think, uh, <laughs> I think, I think it's no. Are they pressuring you? Yeah, yeah, I am. I am being pressured. I, I think it's no news that um, Nigeria is a patriarchal country. Hmm. In fact, Africa as a whole is a patriarchal 
there's mm. a lot of responsibility and pressure put on men mm. especially let's even talk about the first if you are the first child mm. it's even worse because mm. everybody comes to are you, you causing i'm the last good are for you, me so you but you i still experience no no back then not anymore <laughs> <laughs> so, so i still experience a lot of pressure even being the last child mm. i necessarily do not have to send money home to my parents being the last child because I have people that have been working way before me, but I still do that. Not because did um, you ask? No. No, 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 no. Not because, but because that is what the society expects from you in mm. this part of the world. That at, when you get to a certain level, you because the you're one a man, is that, that what you're saying? Care. No, I don't think. Now, I'm not okay. going to associate that with just men. I think it's. So, but, with no, every, but you, if you're being do. a man, do you have any pressure that you think I'm yeah, only getting yeah. this pressure because, because I'm, I'm a man? man. Yeah, I, I would say so because. Um, you want to get married, you are the one who's going to spend the bulk of the money in Nigeria. Mm. It's not it's over there. It's not like that, that again. What? It's not, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah I'm agreeing. You don't, I don't like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're the one that would spend the bulk of the money. You're the one who would go out there and look for, oh, man, my friend got a diamond ring for his own wife. I need to go get. So, Is that why I don't no. marry yet? <laughs> I haven't even found the right girl. I haven't even found the right girl. So I'm just saying, like, you know, all those type of pressures. Your friend is living in the Quad Atlantic. You are still living in Sh Shomolu. Uh, hmm. You know, yeah, the, the pressure, the pressure to meet the up, pressure, to yeah. meet up, to... I, I just think the society Aww. alone gave, puts a lot of pressure on men. Mm. And, I, and I know women also face a lot of pressure. Of course. They also, they also no, expect Today's about the men. They also, yeah. Yeah. We are not like you guys. Yeah. Yeah. We are talking about yeah. later. Yeah. Like, yeah. They're also, they're our attention they're also yeah. expected to get married before the age of 25. And, I'm sorry, no shit at you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I never... <laughs> you know you that's what I was going to talk about when you're talking about all these things. I, I keep saying it and I'll always it's, say it. It's if about you. Want you. To feel, mm -hmm. If you want to feel pressure. pressure there are, yeah. I think the biggest pressure I ever face is pressure from within and that mm. is when I try to judge myself mm. to say Elsie I expected that at this age you should have gotten this for yourself mm. you should have been able to achieve yeah this. and I but think that's the fear pressure, of failure she was talking yeah, about you see external pressure I understand yeah. when people go through it but as for me mm. I've been able to groom myself to that point where there is nothing as long as I'm comfortable and I'm contented there is mm. nothing yeah. you do there's nothing I see but you know that would I'm as bad as when it comes to even um, going out and hanging out with friends, right? People want to do it. They feel like, oh, it's the cool thing to do. The biggest thing I will tell you is, oh, invite me. I won't even come. You know, we spoke when about When I see this. them, I feel like, oh, why wasn't I invited? Even if I'm invited, I will still not show up. So it is your personal... I understand yeah. the pressure. I'm not even going you to... You know, we spoke about all, this but... when we're talking about um, social media putting a lot of pressure on the yes, person. Yes, I, I can't remember who said it. And um, we're like, I think it, it was depending... Sel... Was... No, no, it wasn't Selena. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. Oh, but I could... I, was Ariana, Grande. Ariana Grande. It was Ariana, Ariana Grande yeah. because Ariana she had, like, the third largest following on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I can remember we were on the same page saying, it's who you decide to follow, follow. Mm -hmm. that actually depends if you want mm -hmm. to be pressured. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you never agreed from day one, so this is a conversation <laughs> to be <actually laughs> out of this one. <laughs> so I think it's, 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 it's well said what you just put out there, okay, that so if you want to be pressured, you would be pressured. But if you look at it in the real sense of it, especially in this part of the mm. world, there's uh, there's, it's almost inevitable not to be pressured. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, agreed. And also, I also sorry, before you give your own take, also note that as long as you're moving, it doesn't matter how fast. How, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As long as you're so moving, well. as long as every day you wake up in the morning, you strive to be better than the person mm -hmm. you were well, yesterday, mm -hmm. you're doing good. So Preach, okay. girl. <laughs> Elsie's on fire. Uh, I, would, I would just say that it's very easy to say that you're content and that you, you don't have any pressure, but I think you... That statement minimalizes the, the the power in social conditioning. Mm. Men have been thought have been taught that rather from a young age, you can't and then cry. you you know talk, um, boxing up uh, emotions and all of that stuff. Even feminism would tell you that the core of feminism problem is toxic masculinity. Mm. It's because we've raised our sons wrong that they're treating the girls wrong. Mm. So it's all intertwined and it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. So to say that like you know it's all within, it's actually not. There's a lot. The the, the society here, uh -huh. the structure doesn't give a man a choice yeah. really to be anything else to be content because. 
even in the lingo, in the terms, how you even date, like it's nothing is 50-50 here. You even see married couples telling you the wife's money is her money, but the man's money, money is that. Yeah. Even that statement is just BS. It's every, the whole the structure is too much pressure on the man. And it's not like we're in a diff like the, the men are in a different oh, country than, different than, than this same hard Nigeria yeah. where you're earning, I'm earning. Why can't we do it together? Why am, I, why am I putting so much pressure on the man to fulfill something that I can't even fulfill for myself? Mm. So I, I think it's really, really bad. And then you add on top of the fact that across the board, not just now in an African patriarchal system, across the board, men are not allowed to show emotions. Enough the bad that bad. makes it a lot harder. Okay, if I'm not going to let you speak, you know why? why? Because we need to move to this next story. And secondly, you need to learn how to handle this issue the way we just handled it. If we were talking about women, you want to say, but men, but mm. we allowed you. We talked about your struggles. Yes. So learn from this. And if okay. I say shut up now, you might <laughs> But anyway, uh, we are moving to our Amen. next and final story. <laughs> Thank you very much Rafa. for the lesson. <laughs> Red Cafe, who was arrested for vehicle theft for unreturned rental car. Mm. Red was booked on a felony count of unlawful taking and driving of a vehicle and released on a $25 bond. The rapper is scheduled to appear in court next month. Okay. Ah. <clears throat> uh -uh. <laughs> so <laughs> no, you allow me to speak now. now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think this is just a uh, mental gone bad. Um, you held on to your rental car for too long, and um, yeah, you've been taken to court. And, uh, mm. No big deal. I think it's something they'll sort out. I think the first thing I thought about with this story is that, like, sometimes packaging, you need to be careful how far you want to mm. go. They rent cars in thing. Nigeria here, too, so they can learn anything mm. or two from mm -hmm. the They mm. do. Mm. Even in SA, it's a very big thing. And I, I, and I know people spend ridiculous amount of money just to do this rental thing and like have it most most of the time i agree that it's not all, in all cases but majority of the time it's all on the landing like i want to show off and i want to have this image and all mm. that stuff just to know that this has not gone really wrong and i could actually end up in jail it's pretty mm -hmm. scary because i thought they would say okay you've breached the contract of like you know not returning early but to say bank theft like it's going to be on your record you know tough, like yeah. it's it's a big deal. Mm. I think the company actually reported the car stolen. Yeah. And then they, the police saw it packed and actually waited for the person who packed it to, to get into in. it mm -hmm. and drive off and they stopped them. And you see, that so. statement made me think that you probably have been getting emails to return yeah, the to car. Yeah, to return the car mm. or and pay you your yeah. bills or pay your outstanding yeah. bills, pay for the car. But like you said, packaging, sure. Uh, and this mm. attitude you know, is. It's probably like, mm. it's like me renting a Lambo mm. and then everybody comes on is social that, media. I post a picture of me. Driving Lambo. a Lambo, but you see, and they say they congratulations making... on your Lambo, and I don't clear the air and be like, no, it's a I rental. Mean, you want to hold on, you get, to so it. you want to yeah. hold on to it for a little longer. Yeah, you get. Mm. Difficult for people in that line of business, and I mean, it's supposed to be a business that will help so many people. Yeah. Like, for example, I'm traveling from Lagos to mm. Abuja. I don't need to drive all the way with mm. my car, but mm. I want to get into Abuja and be able to have, to be able to be mobile, especially when yeah. I can drive, right? And there are people that just love driving, so it's supposed to be a way of life, and that created that form of business. So if people start behaving like this artist you are talking then about, then it's going to make, the, business. Yeah, it's make the business terrible and making it look like renting a car is some it's horrible a, yeah, thing yeah, to do. Yeah. It's supposed to be something that will make, it's just like you going to a place you don't have a home and you rent somewhere to stay yeah. for a while, stay in a hotel, yeah. really. So, um, I, I really hope it doesn't get that far. I hope they can yeah, settle. I hope, I hope yeah, he has the I, money I believe, to yeah, settle it. To pay is outstanding. Mm. I, I believe mm. once he's able to do that and he's able to pay for damages because obviously they're going to include damages mm -hmm. that they've had other people that needed the car yeah, and they couldn't yeah. give it out. So I know he's going to ask as long as he's able to sort out all the bill, I'm sure they will settle out of court. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's exactly how we wrap up on Tea Time this episode. Remember, you can always be part of oh, this conversation <laughs> by using the hashtag Tea Time on social media or Twitter at us at Plus TV Africa. Until then, my thank you as always goes to my co workers Ife Oshunkaya and Ife Omai. Thank you so much. You're the welcome. entire production team as well. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching. Thank you.